What's up guys, Mark here with yet another tutorial on a bit of a roll this week, I think. Uh, in today's video, I just wanted to really quickly make a video about the Pathfinder tool because in my opinion, I think both the Pathfinder and also the Pen tool are two tools that people who are sort of newer to Illustrator kind of avoid because they probably don't understand, which is fine, they can be a bit tricky but they're so powerful and you can use them for so many things. So today I wanna to talk about the Pathfinder and more specifically the minus front tool. So first of all, to get started, you need to click window and make sure that Pathfinder is selected and it will bring up this window over here. And I'll just get rid of this so it's not confusing. So, Basically, I, I used the minus front tool when creating both of these shapes. Now, you might look at these and think, well, this donut, for example, is quite easy. I could just draw a pink circle, and then I could just draw a white circle over the front of it, center them up, and that's how I get my donut shape, right? But what would happen is, if I were to move this onto something that doesn't have a white background, so if I drag it over here, that white circle is still visible, so that's a problem. Now, to get rid of that, I can use the minus front tool, like so. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how simple it is. So, the way the minus front tool works is it will take whichever object is in the front and it will subtract it from the object behind. So the way I like to think of it, it's kind of like using a hole punch when you're using, you know, a hole punching paper. So it kind of just punches that white through the through the pink. And you can use this to create some pretty cool effects as well. So if you have a look at this this type here, this is an O that I made with a bit of like a 3D shadow to it. And the same sort of thing, if you look at this, it's it's actually three circles, red, white, and black. But if I were to drag that off again, that white would be visible. So as soon as it goes into a different colored background, it doesn't quite work. So in order for me to do that, to fix that rather, I can use the minus front tool. So I'm just gonna make a circle or an O I should say. Now, if you wanna use this with type, make sure that you right click the type and create outlines because the Pathfinder works with uh, objects and paths. And right now this text, because it's still editable, Illustrator sort of can't access it in that same way. It's sort of hard to, to explain, but it can't read the text properly and, and use this tool. So make sure you create outlines, otherwise it won't work. So the next thing I did was I duplicated this. So I just went control C and then I went control F to paste it in front in the exact same place. And then I just dragged it at 45 degrees a little bit like that. So there's now two circles there. I'll just make this one white. Did the exact same thing again, control C, control F, dragged it up. and made it red. So like I was saying before, at the moment, that, that white's still visible, which we wouldn't want. So now all I need to do is just select both the black circle and the white circle. I'm gonna ignore the, the red one, I don't wanna affect it. So I just click the black and the white one, and then again, just click minus front. And there you go. So now this is actually a separate little object. So if I grab this and bring it out, you can see that that's gone now. So if I make it black, that should look pretty cool. Yeah, so that's that's one way that you can create 3D type, which I, I do sometimes. So yeah, I mean, that, that pretty much sums it up. It's really quite simple to use once you understand how it actually works and it's really powerful. So I think I might make a couple more about Unite and um, Divide and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna do some pen tool stuff soon too. So yeah, hopefully, you know, I know it's just another really quick one, but hopefully that helps. If you like it or if there's anything else, uh, you know, that you wanna learn, by all means, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys.